What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. And today I'm going to be using this lid to start a fire in a survival situation. Let's check this out. First of all, I need to figure it out if it's going to be hot enough. I got this lid and I'm gonna pour water right on top of it. Okay, let's see. And we have to really lift it up. So I think it has to be almost very up high because it's a big lid it need to be at least a couple of feet of the ground like that because right there i don't know if you can see so what i'm doing is making a magnifying glass with the lid you see i'm concentrating the sun in one spot down there you see if i bring it closer to the dirt it gets bigger if i'm gonna pull it up look how small that light over there such a just like a giant magnifying glass so what i'm gonna do is grab a bunch of coconut husk or some kind of dry leaves and set it down somewhere right here magnifying glass let's see if it's going to start can you see i'm gonna concentrate it right on that uh, what do you call that coconut husk let me see if it even gets warm oh yeah it feels pretty hot the only problem, I feel like I, I keep moving my hands, so maybe that's why it's not starting. I need to be very steady. So what I'm gonna do, find a bunch of broken sticks and make a stand for it. I need three sticks of a very similar height. So. Right here are pretty similar. So now I'm just going to drive them into the dirt. Gonna make them sharp so it's easier to put them in the dirt. Okay, let's try this first one. Yeah, looks good. Go measure it to the lid. So somewhere right here. doesn't need to be too deep because it's just a lid, it doesn't weigh that much. And the last one. I'm just gonna sharpen it up. That's sharp enough, just like that, to hold up like that. Need to drive it in somewhere right here. That's what we got right here. The lid just sitting on three sticks. Okay. That looks pretty level to me now. Then we're going to add water all the way. Look at that, it even looks like magnifying glass. Now what we got here? Boom. Oh yeah, that feels pretty hot. Okay, it's starting to burn now. Maybe like 10 seconds and starting to burn really hard. That's what we want. And you want as clear sky as possible. Okay, before we lose the sun, let me let's see if this is going to start up burning. We got here a bunch of grass. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's pretty hot. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a while. Alright, let's see. And look at it, we started the fire. Wow. How cool is that? And you know what to do next, just add the little twigs and we get, we're going to get it going super easy. Let's try this again. By the way, this is why I'm wearing sunglasses. It's not good to look at this without sunglasses in, in real life. So once again, I'm gonna put a bunch of kindling and chalk cloth. Look how easy it is to start it with chalk cloth. I'm gonna let it sit there for like a minute. And look, it's starting to smoke almost instantly, maybe like five seconds, and it's starting to get going. If you wanna know how to make chalk cloth, links in description. I did that video a while ago. Now I can blow a little bit.
and boom look at it it's burning you know what to do next since it's you got fire just put little twigs on it and you good to go you got yourself fire so you can boil water let's try to do this with the right leaves oh no the cloud came up so now that the cloud came out I cannot do this I gotta wait till the cloud go away sun is finally came out let's see if it's going to work with leaves oh look it's smoking a little bit this is nice And we got ourselves fire, as you can see, it's burning. Boom! So you can do it with leaves as well. Thumbs up for me, I love that a lot. For all of you guys who is not following my second channel, this is my studio. I've been doing updates about how it's built. So go follow me on my second channel. So yeah, this is where I'm going to start filming from now on. Anyways, 